So you need. All right, heading home from the summer solstice 5K at Moraine State Park. Finished third overall in like 18 and a half, 1840 range. I don't even know what it is. Um, I think I had 1836 on my watch. This is the second year I did it. Uh, it was decently warm when we started. A little sunny. Now it's kind of shaded and overcast because it's, well, it's almost 8.30 at night. Um, race started at 7. <clears throat> Got here a little after, uh, 6.25-ish. Uh, it was right before the kids race. Since it's summer solstice, it's like a uh, Wednesday evening race. <clears throat> I don't know. I enjoyed it last year. Not so much this year. Um, course is decently hard. Basically going uphill for the first half. Um, and then you descend for like three or four tenths and then it's like a rolling hill. But that three and four tenths, the incline that you get, like the 200-ish feet that you get uh, in that first like mile or so, uh, decline right away on the three or four tenths so it's a quick downhill but a long steady winding uphill to start <clears throat> and like a little bit of a rolling hill after you pass the uh, DCNR main office and then from there uh, like after a rolling hill you hit this like little boat landing area and you have to do like a circle around it and then head back make a complete loop from where you park um, and in the parking lot you do a quick little loop nothing real exciting or hard to explain um, but it's just basically a, a loop around uh, the park office side of the park it's, most of it's like a one way in one way out deal <clears throat> but I don't know I'm just kind of salty Coming in, I didn't know what to expect after the last couple weeks. How things went at like World's End, Laurel Highlands, and taking a week off. I know I'm still not right 100% today. I found out my CO2 is at 32, which is uh, higher than a, you know, the, the good zones. And then like a mean on or something is at like three, which is very low. So there's stuff definitely going on, but the doctors say oh it's within parameters but I know there's something going on so today I wanted to test my body a little bit <clears throat> and prep for the weekend because I just might not even race this weekend now um, and like hang out at Thunder how like this race went <clears throat> I mean I still draw this 1830 you know a hilly course with like in the evening it's very hot so I mean, it's not terrible, but I know my body's not right. Um, I was having a hard time breathing a couple times, so I had to like slow down. And my heart rate right away jumped to 188, which it's never that high. I've never seen it that high. And it stayed there for a couple minutes while we're going up the hill before it like dropped back down and I relaxed a little bit. But for it to be that high early on some shit was going on and it's definitely like a red flag another red flag for me <coughs> so i don't know anyway i finished third i should have won the race um the guy who won i'll say right off the bat it's a little cocky um he had no idea if i was on my a game that he yeah he wasn't getting me i'm telling you that right now and i'll tell him that to his face um he rode my ass for a little bit. And I was like, I'm not having, I'm not pacing this dude. Um, Cause you can just tell he little cocky guy. Um, so then I stepped off and stepped behind. Like he wouldn't like take over the lead. He just like smiled at me and stuff. And at one point he asked like, if I was like the uh, uh, tea garden, like um, if I was Tigar and I said no, but he was just like smiling at me and stuff, just playing games. I'm like, all right, you cocky bastard. So I stayed in the front for a little bit, <clears throat> just let him go. I took a nice little, maybe 10 second lead by the time on the top of the hill. And if I had any kind of A game, like I would have just destroyed that hill and took off. 
downhill he caught back up a little bit and I was just like feeling it again like I could feel my throat just sort of like closing um, and then like a mile two when we were going out to that boat landing I was just like I'm tired of his ass just like riding me so I stepped back off and he just like smiled at me again and I was just like dude what's your like I'm thinking to myself like what's your problem dude I'm like if I had like because I knew in the back of my mind if I had anything I would have just like dusted him but I just didn't have it so I stepped back let him take the lead and I just basically uh, I don't know whatever the word is pulled back from there I was like fuck it I was like I don't care I was like I know something's wrong and if I go to push or go anymore I was like something's wrong uh, like my lungs or whatever just are gonna explode because you could just feel it so I wasn't gonna risk it so I pulled back and basically walked it in got passed by some younger kid as well dropping me to third but I knew I didn't have it because something was going on and I wasn't going to risk anything going forward I just didn't like how he just like smiled at me it was just like dicking around I was like you don't have to be cocky I was like you could just race and just the way he did it a couple of times really got under my skin because I knew I wasn't having my A game. It was probably like my C to D. And like my time last year was like 17 and a half. And I even pulled back then. Um, so I, I know I'm capable of a lot better result in that course. It just, I wasn't going to play the game today and or hurt myself. Especially after I saw my heart rate go up to like 188. I was like, what the hell is this? I was like, that's that's really like a danger zone for me. That's like zone five, top of the line, zone five. Um, so I don't know. I just, I'm just salty. Probably because that guy who won, he just like kept smiling around a bunch like just this like swagger was just annoying it pisses me off um but also the fact that I, I know there's something going on and the doctor's just like oh you're fine you know it's within parameters i'm like no if you look at the parameters even in the results it's not right it's on the high and the low side so whatever nobody wants to do nothing about it so i guess if i end up in the hospital then so be it um all like i said is i couldn't breathe <coughs> i'm still coughing a lot i was coughing a lot after the race like i just felt so dry um like right away my mouth felt dry my throat felt dry and my lungs just felt like uh, yeah dry uh like they weren't taking any oxygen so I don't know but I guess the bright side is I still dropped an 18 and a half ish 1840 on that course which is hard for not really rate for not racing at all all week and then just doing two slower runs after taking a week off um, so I guess I really didn't lose much yet but I still don't have what I should. So we'll see the next couple days how things go for the weekend. But <clears throat> I don't know. The people who put on the summer stoles is a pretty nice people. Um, it's for like the sli slippery rock cross country uh, team. So it's a good cause. Um, you know, you always got to support the younger runners when you can. And then, like, a bunch of the Butler County Mowlers were there today, so it was nice to see all them, talk to them a little bit. Uh, and I like Moraine, so there's that. Uh, so, I mean, generally, besides how I perform, you know, I do enjoy the race and the atmosphere of it. It's a nice evening race. Gives you something to do, like, midweek, so... 
And again, it supports the cross country, so it's a good cause to support. But don't expect it to be an easy course, because again, it's basically uphill the first half and a quick downhill, then rolling, and then a hard flat finish. So you have to be prepared for that. Um, and it's always, well, the two years that I've done it, it's been hot. Being in the evening at seven o'clock, you're, you're gonna expect to be hot. And then with the asphalt, cause it's on like an asphalt road around the park, expect the, uh, the road to radiate some heat up. So that plays a factor as well. <coughs> Other than that, not much to say. I'm just pissy and salty with my performance in that guy. Um, I'll get him next time. But, I don't know. I just, just the way he was acting today, I haven't seen anybody act like that during a race or after the race in years. And it just kind of irritated me just, just the way he was acting. You just don't see that in the running community. And just, yeah. And how he jetted off, like, as soon as he got his support, he was just, like, gone. It was just, I don't know. That sort of got under my skin a little bit as well. It's just, like, runners don't act like that. So. Whatever. Hopefully this weekend... goes better or else I'm going to drop out of Ironstone for sure in Eastern States so whatever